Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a lesson on a cool country lick, country rock-ish lick that I use all the time. So I'm always doing this. It's my default lick on cigar box guitar. So, and it works with playing the Rolling Stones, it works playing Chuck Berry, it works playing country tunes. You know, if you turn the gain down, you want to play a little Merle Haggerty thing. And this is exactly where it comes from, and where I heard it first was on a Merle Haggard tune. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you right now, what I do, and with the gain up. Then I'm going to show you what I do as a country lick, and then I will break down exactly what I'm doing because it's a bend and it's a note bend and it's a note bend within a chord shape. So, and the chord shape is a bar. So I'm gonna do this in G and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in different keys and work around. So uh, here we go. turn the gain down on this amp and get this you get a very country vibe so you could do your country rock songs like Poco and the Eagles and uh, John R. Cash and that kind of stuff and especially Merle this is where I heard it first the uh That's a very Merle Haggard lick, and that's the, actually when I saw Merle back in the 70s, I, I picked up on that lick out of his whole concert and went, I need to learn that, and so I did. So I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to go back to the rock setting, and uh, which is turn up my gain and turn down my volume, and I'm using a uh, little Roland Mini Cube. So uh, what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24, those are my gauges. These are electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a little Roland Mini Cube and I will show you those settings at the end of this video. So the structure of this is one, four, five. And if you haven't seen my video on 145, look at my Just a Beginner or look at my Music Theory. And those two playlists will get you to my 145. In G, or G, how do we know where G is? Well, it's an open G. G, D, G. So that's open. G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, and F. On this guitar it goes up to F, on my other it goes up to E. And, but that's not important. What is important is you knowing this combination. So a 1-4-5 combination in G is G is the 1, C is the 4, D is the 5. And if you look at a guitar this way, and you look at the fret markers, okay, these are what we're looking at. Open, four, five. If I come up one fret, that would be my one, G sharp, and these move up one, C sharp, D sharp. If I move up again to A, I move up two. These guys would move up two. D and E. If I move up to B flat, <laughs> these guys move up three. Okay, that's where they move. Now we're on D sharp and now we're on F. If we move up to B, okay, and B, we're going to move up to here. And it's the same ratio every time. So it's from here to here, or it's G sharp, 
or it's A, or it's B flat, or it's B, or it's C, or it's C sharp, or it's D. It works the same way every time. I just want to go over that really fast. We are going to be playing in G with a C and a D. This lick works on this G. So G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G, bar chord. This rock and roll rhythm here is the same as here. This lick works off of that. So you're going to put your bar chord across. You're going to take your third finger and get on that A note, G, G sharp, A and you're gonna bend. And I don't mean bend, wiggle bend. What I mean is, is to give it some bend. Like so. And I'm exaggerating my arm movement, but that's is what I want you to do. You're gonna bend to that note. Hear that note? That's your first move. I like to hit all the strings and get that full sound. That's me. You can certainly, right? You can certainly get that note individually, but it's that A, you're bending it up to the B flat. And then you're going to do the rock and roll rhythm thing in reverse. E, D. whole chord but you're soloing within the shape and I call this chord noodling but really it's it's soloing within a shape and the shape just happens to be a bar chord and that's that's where I like to be. So anytime I start out a rock and roll song like uh, Johnny Be Good, I always go there. If I start out a Rolling Stones tune like uh, Ride, Ride Em On Down, So that's what I use, and I kind of hit everything at once. So when I come down, I'm raking. And that's my little move, is that... So there it is again. I also do this in the other chord shapes. There's C. Back to G. Now we're on the five chord. Four chord. I'm doing the same maneuver on C. So that bend becomes a D sharp on my C chord. On my D, I'm on E and I'm bending to F. That there are great keys for this maneuver. This maneuver works really well in B-flat. Works great in A. Works 
really good in A. But that's what it is in G. You just have to remember what key you're in and then get the lick. Once you get the lick in one key playing some rock and roll, so you're in G and on the one. need two fingers here to get this bend. Fortunately, this fret gives me enough room to get two fingers in there. I find it really hard to, to get these lower bends with one finger. So that's what I like about that. So I'm going to turn my gain down, right, and turn my volume up. And I'm going to show you the Merle Haggard trick. And the Merle Haggard trick is the same thing. You're going to bend that A to the B flat, G. You're going to do the same thing here on this E to that D. And then you're going to bend this A to, to G. But the beautiful thing about this is you do a, a little... that little twangy so think of it as a twangy thing you know think of a think of a Merle Haggard twang and that's that so you're A G E D A this two ways you can you can do it I do like this to here to there I do like that Just, it's just cool and it's a great lick to use. It's my default lick if I am going to play anything Rolling Stones ish, Leonard Skinner ish, Country ish, um, totally Merle ish, Cash. I use that lick for everything. Okay, I really, really use it a lot. I try not to use it in every rock and roll song, but I end up defaulting to it because it's so cool. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. And, you know, as, as uh, I realize how to play these different things, I like to show you. And I figured now would be a good time to do that now that you guys are really good with your one four fives and you understand rock and roll and all of that. It's good to know these little tricks, especially for intros or outros. So uh, this is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, a buck a show is all we ask. And I showed, I told you I'd show you my uh, settings here. And right now I'm on the clean settings. We're doing a little Merle thing. You see how the gain is a little bit up right there. I'm on the Brit combo and I got some reverb. So if I was going to play the rock and roll stuff that I was doing... What I do is I turn up my gain to about there, and then I turn my master down. Then you can hear what that sounds like right there. So uh, that's kind of how I play it. I play it a little, my gain a little further than that 12 o'clock notch. So uh, there you go. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I do appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon.